So what happens when we go to non-orthogonal modulation? Well, everything changes. The way that we approach the problem has to change fundamentally. Because previously we had so much symmetry. Before we had equidistant symbols. Here, of course, the symbols are not necessarily equidistant, but even more importantly, because they're not equidistant, that means that the error probability is dominated by certain pairs. It's the nearest neighbor pairs of symbols that, that's going to dominate the, the symbol error rate. And because of that, it depends on which bits did we assign to those nearest neighbor symbols that is going to determine the performance of my system. Okay, so that's known as the um, bit to symbol mapping. In the previous uh, example, the bit to symbol mapping didn't matter. I just didn't even care about what it was. It was just, just in general, all the possibilities. Now, it's not going to be, there's not this, it doesn't matter which one. It does matter which one. It's the nearest neighbors that count. And so we have to have a very clever strategy for mapping our bits to symbols uh, to ensure that when I have two neighboring pairs, when I make that mistake, I don't want a whole bunch of bits to be flipped because I made that one symbol error. And so what is this bit to symbol mapping? Well, a good one is known as the gray code. So we're going to see a gray code, which is an intelligent manner of associating bits to symbols so that when I get a good symbol error rate, I'll get the best possible bit error rate I can given that symbol error rate. Let's start with a very simple example. We're going to take uh, 8 PSK. And uh, now I'm going to write for each one of these different angles. Of course, each angle is a different symbol. And this symbol, I'm going to assign um, bit 0, 0, 0. And now I have to assign bits to symbols. So I'm just going to count binary, right? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. I'm going to go around like that. Okay, So I've made a mapping of bits to each one of these symbols, the symbol being an angle uh, in this case. So that's not a gray code. <laughs> that's just binary counting. A gray code would instead be this allocation. And maybe it's not clear why this one would be better than just counting in binary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring your attention to the fact that when I go from nearest neighbor to nearest neighbor, here's a nearest neighbor, if I look at these bits, there's just one bit that changes between here and here. It's the middle bit here that has changed. But the other two stay the same. Here, it's the uh, end bit, the last bit, that has changed. And the other two stay the same. Here, it's again the end bit that has changed, but the other two have changed. And these are nearest neighbor bits. So in this allocation, what I've done is I've taken the um, objective of having only one bit change when I'm in a nearest neighbor. So why do I do that? Because if I'd done this binary choice, suppose I had just used the binary counting, suppose I make an, an error between these two nearest neighbors. Well, in this case, I only made one simple error, but every single one of the bits is going to be flipped. Every one of them is a bit error. So I have three bit errors in this one symbol error. So I certainly don't want that situation. What I would like is this situation where I assure that nearest neighbor pairs, where most of the errors are going to occur, have the minimum number of bits different, one. <laughs> so there's only one bit that flips when I make a symbol error. I can do the same thing. That was an example at uh, 8PSK. I can do it for Q, uh, QPSK. You can see here that we're choosing it so that one bit is changed each time we look at a nearest neighbor. Opposite neighbors, yeah, sure, they can have both bits change. I don't care because that, that error almost never happens. It's dominated by these errors. I can do it with 16 quam. So here is a, an allocation. And if you take the time to look across at the allocation, each nearest neighbor, uh, whether it's a nearest neighbor here, 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 all the nearest neighbors are only going to have one bit that flips. Not true on the diagonals here. Yeah, sure, there'll be lots of uh, bits that are flipped there, but the nearest neighbors, no. Now, a gray code doesn't exist for all modulation formats, but you try and choose one where as many of the nearest neighbor pairs have as few possible of bits that flipped. And that's basically the idea of the gray code. So given that we're using gray coding, 
now we know the, re the uh, relationship between the probability of bit error and the probability of symbol error. And that is, it all depends on the number of bits per symbol. Log 2m is the number of bits per symbol. If I have three bits per symbol, then I'm only going to get one bit wrong when I have a, a symbol wrong. So the symbol divided by the number of bits per symbol gives the probability of bit error.